Now this is an NFT project. Now make any random guesses and comment below in terms of what do you think this particular project is worth? How much do you think this particular project was sold for? The answer is $91.8 million. Now let me show you another NFT project. Now this particular digital art actually got sold for any idea how much? $69.3 million. So people are spending 10,000 millions of dollars to actually buy digital art. The entire digital art world has actually grown immensely and has actually touched $7 billion. So the big question is, what is an NFT? Why are people spending so much amount of money on NFT or on digital art in today's date? So very important topic, very important for you to understand the basics because this is just the start of this entire topic, right? This entire industry is just going to grow. So make sure you do watch the video till the end and by the end of the video, if you find this particular video useful, if you actually understand what NFT is, then make sure you do like the video as well. Now NFT simply means non-fungible token. Now before you get confused in terms of what non-fungible token is, let me actually explain to you in the most simplest way. Now we have different kinds of assets. We have fungible and we have non-fungible assets. So fungible asset means anything which can be replaced. So it is not unique. On the other hand, non-fungible asset means anything which cannot be replaced, right? So it's a unique asset. Now let's look at these four quadrants over here. The first quadrant, we have fungible physical assets. So that means an asset that can be replaced and it is in the physical form. So you have money, gold, you have multiple different kinds of assets like maybe a car as well. So for example, if you tomorrow give me a $100 bill, I can give back to you two $50 bills or I can give back to you 10 $10 bills. It still holds the same value of what you actually gave me, right? So it's not unique. It is replaceable. So hence, it is a physical form of a fungible asset. On the right hand side, you have the digital format. The digital format can be a Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency. So tomorrow, if you're selling a Bitcoin and, and then let's say you're buying another Bitcoin, it doesn't have to be the same Bitcoin. It can be any other Bitcoin because it holds the same value. At the bottom, we have a non-fungible form of physical asset. So these are unique assets like your Mona Lisa painting. It's a unique asset, right? You cannot have two Mona Lisa painting. Yes, you can have duplicate of it, but the original art is only one. Or you can have the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is unique. You cannot have two Taj Mahals. The original Taj Mahal is only one. Or the Eiffel Tower, again, it's unique. So these are your form of non-replaceable assets, which is a non-fungible asset but in the physical form and on the right hand side that is in the fourth quadrant we have the non-replaceable digital assets so any asset which can be art or a music video which is not replaceable but it's in the digital format is what we call a non-fungible digital asset now where does an nft come into picture an nft is simply an ownership certificate stating that this particular art or this particular digital art or digital music is authentic and you who's owning this particular NFT is the owner of this particular digital art. So the most simplest way is just an ownership certificate. Now let's say that I actually made this art. Now I did not make this art. This is just something which I took from Google. I'm just giving you a very simple example. Right? So let's say this particular drawing is by me. Now I can tell you that this drawing belongs to me. But how do I prove to everyone else that this particular drawing actually belongs to me? What I can do is that I can actually make this particular art into an NFT format which actually proves the authenticity of this particular art and that I am the owner of this particular art as well. Now I know you will have a lot of questions in your mind that why are people actually paying so much money for this, right? This is something which can actually be stored in your phone or it can be easily be copyrighted. So why are people actually paying so much money for it? The entire reason for this is because it is unique. So anything which is unique holds a lot of value in this world and that being one of the main reasons why people are actually willing to pay so much money for it as well. Now the big question is where does this NFT actually get stored? Now this particular NFT gets stored on the blockchain network and hence it is completely transparent. So that means that when you are buying an NFT from someone, the entire transaction in terms of the user actually selling this NFT to a new user gets stored in the blockchain network. Hence it is accessible by anyone. Anyone can actually view how many times this particular NFT was sold, when did this particular transaction take place, at what time this particular transaction took place as well. So all the details are stored in the blockchain network itself. 
Now, where can you actually buy these NFTs? Now, similar to how you have multiple marketplaces for stocks like Zeroda, Upstocks, or you have marketplace for crypto like Binance or Wazirx, etc. Similarly, you do have a marketplace platform for NFTs as well. The biggest marketplace platform for NFT is OpenSea. Now, this is currently the biggest platform right now. Other than that, you also have Binance NFT platform, Crypto.com, Radible, NFT Gateway. So there are multiple different platforms as well. But OpenSea is currently the biggest NFT platform in today's date. Now, let's actually understand, should you be investing in an NFT in today's date? Now, very simple. Let's actually go through a couple of key points before actually coming to a main conclusion. Now, there are multiple pros and cons for having an NFT or for investing in an NFT. Now, for example, NFT is a solution for digital creators, right? It's a solution for licensing digital art. So definitely it is something which is going to continue to grow in the near future. Also, something which is very important is each time an NFT is traded, the artist or the main person in that gets a royalty. Now, for example, you have NBA Top Shots, which is a unique gameplay of the NBA. So every time that particular NBA Top Shot NFT gets traded, in that case, a player who's actually playing in that game actually gets a royalty. Also, third point is that because it is on the blockchain network, it is completely safe, it is completely transparent. So there's nothing to worry about it as such. But if you look at the downsides, there are multiple different downsides of an NFT as well. One of the biggest downsides of NFT is that NFT is only as valuable as the next person who's willing to pay for it. Now, for example, you bought an NFT tomorrow for 50,000 rupees or let's say for $10,000. Now, if someone else is willing to pay $20,000 or $30,000 for that NFT or for that unique particular product or art, in that case, yes, it is valuable. But also, you have to see if someone is not willing to pay that amount of money because there are a lot of digital art which is being created in today's date. So, someone has to be willing to pay that amount of money to you. That is something which is very important. It is one of the downsides of NFT. Second main thing is that just because you own the NFT does not mean that you can actually stop it from copyright. So for example, tomorrow you own a digital art. No one is actually stopping someone from making a copyright or a copyright JPEG of that particular art. Right? So you will find tons of copyright on Google. Yes, you will be the main owner of the unique art, which is the original one. But no one is actually stopping other people from creating digital art and storing on their own phone or any other device. Hence, you do own it, but you, do, you will not be able to control the copyright of it. Third main reason is that frauds are very easy. Now, because NFT as a concept just started, the, you will have to check how authentic that particular NFT is. Is that particular owner the original owner of that particular NFT? Yes, it is possible that there are a lot of frauds which are currently happening because people are trying to copy it and then trying to sell it at a much cheaper price. So there are multiple downsides of NFT as well in today's date. So in summary, I would say that NFTs are definitely fun. You're owning a digital art, you're owning something which is unique. Right? So it's a very new concept and this particular concept will continue to evolve, it will continue to grow. So taking a small position in this entire space will actually help you learn a lot more of things. But at the same time, I will not say it's an investment or it's a good investment at this particular stage because it is something which is very risky. So an NFT in today's date is an extremely risky asset to own and to spend a lot of money on it. It can go up, it can go down, you can make a lot of money from it. At the same time, you might lose a lot of money as well. So again, I personally will not be investing my money into it. But at the same time, I will be buying few small NFTs just to understand the entire space much better and just to be a part of this entire growing industry. So I hope you actually found this particular video useful. What I want you to do is just drop a comment below in terms of what are your thoughts. Do you want to invest in NFT in today's date? Do you think this entire concept of digital art will continue to grow in the near future? Drop a comment and also if you found this particular video useful, if you actually understood what NFT is, do hit the like button, do subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.